So today I've got something to share with you guys that can really change how designers approach a design. I've been granted access to some cutting edge technology which is going to help designers refine their artwork on the basis of whoever views that artwork within the first three to five seconds. So this short period of time in that first three to five seconds when somebody views your designs is really fundamental to the success of your design thereafter. So I'm going to run you through this software and how it can help you in those first three to five seconds of people viewing your work and why it's so important. So VAS is a really, really nifty and a new program. It uses complex algorithms to determine where a viewer's eye is going to travel and how they're going to perceive your design in that short period of time at the very beginning. So the initial grab or the initial attention hook is really crucial. And also, it's important to know how to guide your viewer around a design. So there are four key elements involved when talking about this kind of initial three to five seconds. Those biological markers are first edges, and then we have contrasting colors, mainly red and green contrasting, and then blue and yellow. And then of course, intensity, and finally, human faces. Now this is universal to everybody around the world, no matter where they are from, their culture, or anything else that you can think of. This is something ingrained into human psychology. It's hardwired into our brains. And so wouldn't it be really useful to have a software or a program that can help us kind of engage a viewer and hack into their you know, responses in those first three to five seconds when someone looks at your designs? So VES by 3M comes in both desktop and also a built-in Photoshop extension. But let's take a look at the desktop version first and foremost. So on the website, it states that the accuracy of VES is 92%, which is very, very high. And so here is the Photoshop plugin download, and we're gonna take a look at that later. Okay, so once you've signed up and logged into the desktop version, you simply need to upload a design. And there are categories for you to choose from, such as print design, packaging, even the ability to analyze how efficient an email is going to be. So that's obviously gonna be really great for those of you who are marketers or focus on marketing via emails, because you can actually learn how efficient your emails are in terms of grabbing attention. But I'm gonna take a look at a landing page website that I've mocked up today. There are five key sections that VS looks at. And the first is the areas of interest that I'm actually gonna come back to later. But as you can see here on my heat map, it shows the probability of areas of my design that are gonna be noticed within the first three to five seconds. Now, the hotter the color is, the more interest or the more chance that a viewer is gonna stay on this spot. Now, hot spots are a lot like the heat map, but instead of just colors, we are given a probable percentage, which dictates you know, what's the likelihood the viewer is gonna stay or notice this part of your design. Now, if you are making a landing page with key information, you of course want to make sure that it's seen and also noticed. So this really does help. Now, the next section is the gaze sequence, which is one of my favorite parts of VAS. So did your eyes actually travel from one, two, three to four when you looked at my landing page? It most probably did. And again, leading your viewer around your design is key to ensuring your viewer has comfortable flow and the message is delivered properly. So lastly, we have visual features, which is gonna make some more sense in a moment. So I'm gonna head back to my design and reanalyze it. So before you actually analyze the design, you can highlight an area with this tool like I'm doing here. I can then tell VAS that this is a face, or I can actually draw a box around a specific area of interest to me, the designer. So I might think it's important for the viewer to look here and then to pay some attention. So now when I come to analyze my design, this area of interest as a whole is given a probability score. And 81% is pretty good, but it could be better. So what I could do maybe is to work on color contrast or something else to make sure it's more visible to the viewer. But yeah, coming back into the visual features, we can see the overall score of my area of interest. It has a pretty high score on edges, yet the color contrast and the lack of faces brings it down. Of course, I don't want to add faces to my topography, but I could work on the contrasting color and intensity somewhat. So that was the desktop version, but wouldn't it be cool if you could use this tool whilst you're actually designing? Well, the Photoshop plugin can be downloaded here, 
and it's pretty straightforward to install. So let's head over to Photoshop and see it in action. So I have a new landing page design here, and I can access the plugin in the top drop down menu. So again, I have the choice of categories to choose from. And if you want to make an area of interest, like we did in the desktop version, you actually need to use the rectangle tool like so. So analyzing my targeted area, we can see that the visibility score here is 68%, which is okay, but it certainly could be better. As a designer, it tells me that I need to work on this area in terms of visibility. And in the heat map of my design, most of the attention is over to the phone on the right, and that might not be the desired intention that I want to achieve. So it might be something to think about and change. And the hotspots are giving me real-time information on what the probability is of each section grabbing attention in the viewer. And again, there could be a lot of work to actually focus on my design to make it more efficient. And my gaze sequence, I wouldn't say is ideal, and I would need to make some adjustments, maybe have the phone on the left and then the text content on the right. So that way the viewer does travel from the left to the right. And then also make the text more visually contrasting and appealing. So VAS is all about giving yourself some real-time data on how your design is measuring up in terms of being effective and attention grabbing in those first three to five seconds. And having it plugged into Photoshop is really useful. So the first three to five seconds are often that initial hook that designers and marketing agencies really want to make use of. This doesn't apply to every single aspect of design. It does apply to some aspects more than others, such as marketing, web page design, brochures, you know, things that need a call to action or something like that. And on this channel, I have spoken a lot about hierarchy and how to lead a viewer around your design. Well, this tool literally shows you your artwork in real time and how it's actually stepping up to the plate and meeting or not meeting those preferences. There is a promotional code that I can give to my followers that will offer five extra free trial credits. And that is when you sign up to VAS for free. When you do sign up for free, you have 10 credits, but you're gonna have 15 if you use my code Thomas to redeem this offer. Now you can find the link down below and head over to VES today. Now if you want to learn something else about graphic design, do click a video on screen. And until next time guys, design the future today. Peace.